and we are back. Hello everybody, my name is Lucas, and welcome back to another episode of Bionicle Heroes, also known as Nostalgia Trip 2018, also known as uh, my excuse to give a series a name that seems deep and meaningful, which it kind of is, because this is... Because I've already explained this was like the first game I actually watched someone do a Let's Play of, and kind of just fell in love with it, and yeah, Bionicle is also a theme that I had a lot of, uh, I had a lot of knowledge of growing up. So yeah, we're still saving up for the canister locator, so that our next mega episode is mega efficient. Um, so in the last episode, we went into Hakan's ultimately underwhelming pit and kicked his ass. And in this episode, we're going to be heading to Avax Stronghold. See if he can hold up. Decrepit Dungeons. Sounds like a pleasant place to spend a weekend. Let's go. Alright. So I'm still tired. Not nearly as tired. But, um, yeah, one of my friends from when I was growing up. Known him 14 years. Hung out with him pretty regular, pretty regularly throughout that. Um, until about two years ago when I moved away. Um, yeah, he was passing through and, or was back in British Columbia and wanted to, wanted to hang out. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck yeah. That sounds awesome. And, uh, so yeah, we hung out today and that was pretty damn cool. It's been way too long since I've seen, well, really anyone back home, but especially him, because we live like 10 minutes away from each other for the longest time, and did not take advantage of that, which was stupid. So yeah, that's why I'm tired, and that's also what I did today. So two birds, as they say. I love how they put a mask there. Like, just in case one of those two things gets a lucky shot in and ends up killing you. Okay. Third tries the charm. Just keep powering through. We're already halfway to hero mode. Which is good because the hero mode thing is right there. Ooh, and actually that wasn't, I don't believe that the gate we opened was the way we were supposed to go, so. Yes, it does not seem to... It does not look like it. It does seem like a useful area. Ooh. That is Avak. That I need to get in there. So, yeah, we'll be coming back to that in a mega episode. And hero mode engaged. I love how the music kicks up in hero mode. Which, which I mean, it makes sense, because... Oh, there's the last one. Got the full set of six Toa. Head on down. Okay. 
if those ones don't transform back. Ooh, that was a bit of a quiet spell. I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah. I've been on kind of a productivity kick lately, uh, which is good. It just means I'm kind of busy and... <laughs> it means I'm kind of busy all day and then... Most of the nights, too. And then, uh... I just end up getting super tired because... Well, I'm doing stuff all day. Which again, I have no problem with. I actually very much enjoyed having stuff to do all day, but it gets mentally exhausting very quickly. Oh yeah, just just getting right through all of them. Oh yeah, I don't know if I talked about this on camera, but uh, I recently started playing through Life is Strange on my own. And holy hell, already that game has messed with my brain so much. Like, on the one hand, I love having my brain messed with, in a way. It, uh... allows us for... Eh, I don't know. I just kind of like it, but... That is hard to explain. Ah. Uh, need vase on for that. There might be more stuff down there, so I'm gonna... Nope, I cannot get past that. Yeah, because he's not an option to deal with that, so... Can't make it in there, unfortunately. Ah, so so far two of the secrets require required Paraka. So this is like a multi-step process here. I'm just gonna turn fire a little bit. Not much, just a little bit. Right. So first you build here. And then switch over to Matoro and you blast it. That opens it up. Collect the silver canister and blast your way through all of this. Switch to Kongu. That opens that up. Switch to Jawa. Get hero mode and a ton 
of Lego bits. Oh, that's a pretty neat little puzzle. Kind of wish they did more stuff like that. Oh, I see. I think I see. Yeah. I can just kind of walk in here, lay down fire, literally. And it gives me the so I need um did I did not did I I yeah I talked about magic this week already um did I talk about, oh, um, so for next week, or by the time this gets posted, basically today, uh, so yeah, Friday day, or I, which I believe is the day I'm releasing this, so I'm, gonna, uh, I'm going to be playing something very weird that I've been throwing together, and as of yet, I have not tested, so I don't know how well it's going to work, but I just want to have fun, and keep putting together in fact. Um, because we have too many life gain decks in our meta, people are getting annoyed, and then uh, one of my friends mentioned that I was building in fact. And so now a couple people are have offered up trade or lend cards that would help me greatly in the building of said Infect deck. Because Infect is fun and interactive. It actually kind of is. Maybe, not, maybe interactive is the wrong word. But it's fun, for, definitely fun for one of the two players. It's definitely a way to keep games short, and uh, you know we don't have very many grindy decks in our meta, and those grindy decks that do exist don't uh, don't really outgrind uh, an infect deck when it comes down to it. Which is, I know that's a strange thing to say, but. Like, Infect can actually legitimately grind. Because if you draw a lot of threats, then you're forcing them to have removal for each of those threats individually. And, uh... Yeah, most... Most of those decks, like... Well, for... Uh, an example, let's just look at Jund. Runs, runs I think a couple Terminates, play a set of Bolts, uh, some Abrupt Decay, and some... Oh, hey, there he is. Uh, yeah, some Abrupt Decay and Maelstrom Pulse. As removal spells, Maelstrom Pulse we will discount because it's too slow, but the rest are 1 and 2 drops. And instant speed. Um, so basically we just need more threats. Oh, yawn. Basically we just need more threats or more, um, get more, th 
basically need more threats or more hexproof enablers than my opponent has removal spells. That just blasted them all away. Good old power rock. The shattering Rakshi. That's actually what its ability was. Like it slam its staff down on something and that thing would just explode. One of the few Bionicle things to be featured in the, one of the Bionicle movies. Which they made four of. And as far as I know, three are good. I have not seen the other one. So. I think I talked about this. I missed Web of Shadows. Somewhat how. Just never ended up watching it. But I know the first, I remember the first two being alright. And I still like Legend Reborn. Wait, how much damage does this do? Not a ton. It's probably the silver hearts that do it. Oh shit. Keep yawning. Like I said, I'm very tired. Oh, and did the uh, old staff slam down on the ground deal. Alright, I see how this is. That's so you can tell Hookies is a rocket launcher. Because the rockets just keep returning into sender. Unless you miss horribly like I did. I find this part of the boss fight a little slow just because at this point, especially at this point in the progression of the game, like, there's not a whole lot they can do to me, and I'm just kind of waiting for their shield to drop. If you're replaying a level, there should be an option for uh, them to not have shields in parts like this. <laughs> Just straight up decapitated it. Huh. Similar to Halo Reach, they have adaptive c cutscenes. You got both of his arms. Why are the Krata smarter than the Paraka? I mean, I'm not saying it's not accurate. Got four of those. I got two green can. Two gold canisters. Looked like there was a couple I couldn't get though. And that's probably where the last silver canister was. 142k. It's 
pretty good. And silver. No, I'll take silver. All right. Well, I think I talked about everything I wanted to talk about in this episode. Uh, so it looks like after. like not too far off. The canister locator doesn't look too far off. And then after that, I can start going for the bonus levels. But canister locator is just good for good for 100 percenting. I don't know why I'm collecting stuff that's not gonna save, I don't think. So anyways. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you liked it, feel free to leave a like down below. Subscribe for more content. And I'll see you next time.